Hi everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you guys? Good and you, Miss? I'm very good. Thank you for asking. How is everything? Better? Mejor? Better? Yes, it's good to see you one more time, guys. Welcome, Genesis, Nevi, Maria Jose, Karina, Elsie. We have Elmer Giovanni, Karen Xiomara, Carlos Saraí, Jonathan Adonai, Camila Alexandra, Jaime Alfredo. Who else we have? Ledvia Lo um, Ledvia Eloida. Welcome. Welcome, guys, to one more session. It's a pleasure to see you here one more time. Okay. Remember yesterday we were talking about the different places and things. So we were checking here about different locations, different areas where you can get different things. If it's medicine, if it's food, if it's a dictionary, a book, gasoline, all those things. So now let's verify here that also we talked about compound nouns, two words, three words, or more words that can bring or they can form a different form. Or a word. We'll continue with directions. Let's see our objective. By the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life setting. We have some examples of directions or areas. Number one, it says across the streets. You can also say across from the streets. Number two, down the streets, around the corner. Then we have on the left, on the left, on the right, right? That's position, on the right. Next to the bank, we have the small house next to the bank. And in seven, between the bookstore and the bank. So the small house is between the bookstore and the bank. Do you have a question with these directions, these positions? No? No question. No? Okay, let's go ahead. No question. With... All right. Then let's check about the video. So this video is about the prepositions of place. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. 
The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Where is Dam's Drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so you saw different direction here and there is not like one unique form to give a direction. All it depends what is your manner to do it. But let's check here, prepositions of place. These ones are very necessary to give these addresses. We have on, we have on the corner of, what is on the corner of? En la esquina de. Perfect, across from. Mm -hmm. It can be ah. al otro lado. No. Al otro lado. Uh -huh. That's good. Next to? A la, a la tarde. A la par, a. contiguo a, junto a. All right. Between? En, en medio de. Entre. En medio de, entre. Uh -huh. Great. Okay. So we have this one. The department store is on Main Street. If you notice here, we have the department store, which is its? Is this one department store on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First. So it's on the corner of Main and First. Then we have it's across from the park. Yes, it's across from the park because here in the other sides, you across from the streets and here you find the park. Then we have it's next to the bank. Yes, here we have the bank. 
and here the department store. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. That is correct. The bank is here between department store and then we have the restaurants. Different manners to give the direction here. It's not unique form. But now let's check here with an exercise. We're going to give sentences that depend on the location that you have. For example, in number one, the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. The coffee shop is this one. What is the other reference? We know that is on Second Avenue here. What's the other reference? According to the shoe store, and the shoe store is here. Shoe store, coffee shop. Next what will be two? the best? Next, Next two. two. Next Excellent. Two. That is correct. Next two. So it's next to the shoe store. Nice. What about number two? The movie theater is Park and Main. Across okay. from? Across from. Across from. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, because the movie theater is here, right? Just that here, it's giving you like two areas, two streets. Park and Main. Park Street and Main Street. On the corner of. On the corner of park. Uh -huh. It can be on the corner of. It can be on also, right? Different positions here. Let's suppose that here is on the corner of. On the corner of park and main. What's the other possibility? The other reference? It's according to the park. park. Of. A course cross from, from the, the park. park. All right. Yes, because you can cross the street. That's good. Yes, across from the park. <coughs> across from the park. Good. What about number three? The gas station is. That's in reference to the parking lot. In front. In front of, uh-huh, yeah, that's good. Can be in front of, across from, another case, right? In front of. In front of the parking lot. What's the other reference? It's person center. Across, across from. But first and center. First and center so that on means the, that is on on the, on the corner of on the corner of street. that will be the gas station can be can be on the corner of or also it can be on sobre sobre esa avenida y, y mm -hmm. esa calle so it can be also on so let's see it's on what about four the post office is let's check here the post office is here on the center street. On center and second, right? Uh -huh, that's good because it's on center street and also on second. So it's on these streets. On. The next one. It's, what's the other reference? According to the hospital. Next, the hospital is two. here. It's? Next to. Next to. It's next, next to. to. Uh -huh, right. It's next to, great. What about five? The bank is. The Between bank is. the restaurant. Aha, uh -huh, that is right. Between. It's between the restaurant and the department store. Great. What's the other reference? It's. On. On, perfect. That is correct. All right, now let's read them. Let's start. Elmer, Elmer Giovanni, can you please read number one? The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's next to the shopping store. The shoe store. The shoe, the store. shoe store. Thank you. That's good. Nevi, number two. The Novi Tears is on the corner part and man. The, the corner of. Sorry, sorry. The corner of. I see. I still love. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
difficult to see it. Uh, oh, okay. Ako, it's across from the park. It's across from the park. Thank you. That's good. Edgar. Number three. The gas station is in front of the parking lot. It's on first and center. First and center. Center. That's right. Thank you, Wendy Graciela. Number four. Uh, the post office is on center and second. It's next to the hospital. That's all right. Thank you. That's right. The hospital. Nice. Alvaro, number five. The bank is between the restaurant and the department store. It's, it's on Main Street. Main Street. That's correct. Very good, guys. Nice. Question about this? This is only introduction. We're going to see more examples. We have a conversation to practice here. All right, we have it here. And it's, it's across from the park. We have a conversation between a man and a woman. And it starts like this. It says, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. New vocabulary? No, All right, let's practice it then. Genesis, you're going to start. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Thank you. Clara. A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Nice. Thank you. Elsie. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Thank you. That's good. Ana Xiomara. When there is a restroom, a restroom, in the department, department store, store, store. In my name, on, on, on Main Street. Main Street. That's good. Let's repeat it. You can do it. Well, 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 well there's a restroom. There's a restroom in the in department, in store, department store. 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 On Main Street. On Main Street. That's right. Thank you. Let's yeah, continue. Well, on Main Street. Thank you. That's good, Rebecca. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. First Avenue. First Avenue. First. 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 That's right. Thank you, Rebecca. Oswaldo Morales. Oswaldo Morales. On the corner of Main and First. Thank you. Lázaro Alberto. Hi, teacher. And Hi. Get this across uh -huh. from the park. You can't? You can't miss, miss can't. it. Can't? Can't miss it. Miss it. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Rodrigo Beltrán. Rodrigo? No. Carla Saray? The, uh, thank you. I like 
Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. That's right. Very good. Thank you. Okay, now let's continue. Let's continue practicing. And let's see, Maria Jose. Excuse me? Excuse me? Can you help me? Is there a public guest room around here? Around, around here? Around here. Very good. Thank you. Karen Siomana, continue. A public restroom? Hmm? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. That's all right. Thank you. Carla Saray. Hola. Eh, oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Restroom. Thank you. Karina Canales. Well, there's a restroom in the apartment. Department? Store, department? Department. Store on Main Street. Main Street. That's good. Thank you. Jonathan. We're on Main Street. Thank you. Camila. Camila? Okay. It's, it's on? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. That's correct. Thank you. Jaime. Hi. Uh, yes. On the yes. corner? No. Um, yes, it's across from the park. This one, this one. On ah, the corner? On the corner of Main and First. And First. That's good. Thank you. Carla. Carla Elizabeth. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. That's all right. Thank you. Good one. Carolina. Carolina Beltran. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Very good job, guys. Good. No questions? No questions. No? Okay. We are going to pass the list. So let me know that you are present, guys. Please. Okay, let's begin with Álvaro. Álvaro Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you, Álvaro. Ana Xiomara. Present miss. Thank you so much. Brenda Raquel. Brenda Rachel. Present miss. Thank you, Brenda. Camila Alessandra. Camila Alessandra. Present. Thank you, Camila. Carolina Elizabeth. Present. Thank you so much. Clara Judith. Present. Thank you, Clara. Denise Rosalia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Edgardo Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Edgar. Elmer Giovanni. Present, Miss. Thank you, Elmer. Elsie del Carmen. Present. Thank you so much. Gabriela Abigail. Present, Miss. Thank you, Gabby. Genesis Abigail. Genesis Abigail. Present. Thank you, Genesis. Jaime Alfredo. Jaime Alfredo. Present. Thank you, Jaime. Jonathan Adonai. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Jose Oswaldo. Jose Oswaldo. Karen Xiomara. I'm here. Thank you, Karen. Karina Jamilet. Present teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carla Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Carla Saray. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Kathy Esther. Kathy Esther. Lázaro Alberto. Lázaro Alberto. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Lázaro. 
Ledvia and Loida? Present teacher. Thank you, Ledvia. Ma, eh, Maria Jose? Present. Thank you, Maria. Nevi? Nevi Solina? Here, Thank you, Nevi. Oswaldo Stanley? Present. Thank you so much. Rebecca Vanessa? Present, Miss. Thank you, Rebecca. Rodrigo Alexis? I'm here. Thank you. Susana del Carmen? Susana del Carmen? Wendy Graciela? Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Teacher, I'm sorry. Hello. Uh, Susana del Carmen, present. All right, thank you, thank you. Let me check here. Yes, okay, he's ready. Thank you. And Jeremy Wendy Let. Jeremy Wendy Let. All right. Let's continue then with our next part. To give more, more directions. We have here more examples about it. And in here, we are going to put emphasis on something very important. You have here different areas. It says the bank is across the street, but we're going to have different places. For example, this one, this is the bank. Across the street or across from the street. There are two forms. We have also the bookstore that is on the corner, right? Or you need to, like a, Thorn right. We also have the school, the restaurant, we have the pharmacy. Again, we have the school, the newsstand, and the bank. And let's hear it says the verb be that we use it in questions with where. Subject pronoun it. Why we use it? Because we are referring to a place. Ask questions with where for locations. Where's the restaurant? Use it to replace the names of places. It's down the street. It is equals to the restaurant. So that if you don't want to like uh, repeat and repeat, and you can substitute using the subject it, since you are talking about a thing, right? We're not talking about a person here. Now, the constructions that you observe, where is, is the complete manner. You can contract with where's WH with the verb to be. It is, well, you use it to give the answer. It is, is the complete form, but it's, is the contraction. We have also pronunciation, falling intonation. Remember the falling intonations, right? That you reduced the intonation of your voice. For the questions that we have, you know that it's important to put emphasis on the WH words. For example, where is it? We don't pronounce like where is it, right? It's where is it? So normally it goes down, it reduces the tone of voice. And number two, it says, where's the bank? Number three, where's the school? Where's the newsstand? So you can notice how we modify the intonation. It's not in the same manner, right? It's not like, where's the school? Where's the newsstand? We need to change the level of the intonation of the question. Let's have here a grammar practice. We're going to read these ones. In every one, you have the information. You have the answer. Just that we are going to substitute. And we have some examples here. Number one, it says the pharmacy is across the street. To formulate the question, it can be, where's the pharmacy? Answer, it's across the street. So you don't need to say, where's the pharmacy? The pharmacy is across the street or across from the street, right? You can substitute using it. What about number two? It says Billy's restaurant is around the corner. Denise. Can you help us, please? In part A, how can you formulate the question? <clears throat> Denise, are you here? No? Rebecca? Rebecca Vanessa, can you help us? Where's the Bill's restaurant? 
Where's, aha, where's Billy's restaurants? That's right. So you can ask like this. Where's Billy's restaurant? And you got that. Instead of saying, where is Bill's restaurant? You can make a contraction and use, where's Bill's restaurant? Where's Billy's restaurant? What will be the possible answer? Thank you, Rebecca. Let's see. Kathy Esther, what will be the answer? Kathy Esther? No. Maria Jose? Maria Jose, can you help us? Jaime Alfredo? Hola. Hi, Jaime. Can you help us with the answer, please? Where's Billy's restaurant? Um, sería it's uh -huh. uh, around. Excellent. Uh -huh. It's around. The corner. The corner. Perfect. So you can substitute, right? Instead of saying, okay, Billy's restaurant is um, around the corner. Substitute, not necessary to repeat again. It's around the corner. Perfect. Thank you. Let's continue. Carla. Carla Sarai. We have number three. The new stand is on the left. How do you formulate the question? Where? Where's? Um, Newsstand. New the uh -huh. newsstand. Uh -huh. new new That's good. Where's the new stand? In on the left. Aha. Uh -huh. Where's the new stand? That is the question. You want to investigate that. Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Karen Xiomara, what will be the answer? It's on the left. Aha. Uh -huh. That's right. It's on the left. That's correct. It's on the left. There you have it. Thank you. Excellent. Maybe. What about the next one? Number four. The bookstore is next to the school. How do you formulate the question? Where is the newsport? All right. Newport store. Where's the bookstore? Bookstore, perdón. That is correct. Yes. Where's the bookstore? That's right. Thank you. Let's continue. Ana Xiomara. What's the answer? Yes, miss. Uh -huh. It's next to the school. To the school. Very good. It's next to the school. That's right. Next to the school. And that's correct. So they are different manners so that you can express it. Now, we are going to read it to practice this one. Let's read about number one. Rodrigo Beltran, can you please read number one? The pharmacy. Okay, the pharmacy is across the street. The street, thank you, that's good. Let's continue, Jaime, Jaime Alfredo. The question, uh, please. Where's? Uh, where's the pharmacy? Thank you, Alvaro, the answer. It's across the street. Very good job, that's nice. Thank you, Carla Elizabeth, number two, Billy's. Carla, Carla Elizabeth, Carolina Beltran. Billy's restaurant is around the around, corner. Around, around the corner. Around the corner. Very good. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail, the question, please. <clears throat> Where's Billy's restaurant? That's right. Thank you. Karina Yamilet, answer. It's Around the around, corner. Around. Around the corner. That's right. Thank you. Let's continue. Jonathan. Jonathan Adonai. The, the new stand is on the left. That's correct. Camila. Thank you. The question. Camila, are you there? Oh, uh, hi. Hi. Let's read this one, please. Where's? Where's? 
the new the news the news is done the new stand the new stand that's right thank you oswaldo morales the answer please it's on the left i'm sorry it's, it's on the left it's on the left thank you that's all right good one let's continue with the next one let's be a number four the bookstore the bookstore is next, the bookstore is next to the school to the school the school. The school perdón that's right thank you wendy graciela the question please where's the bookstore where's the bookstore correct elmer giovanni it's, it's next to the school. Next to the school. Very good job. Nice one. Questions? Any questions about this exercise? Directions? What is the meaning of the newsstand, Tisha? The newsstand. Let me show you here. In a picture was the newsstand. Let me erase this. this. Exactly. You have like a newsstand when you have like newspapers, you have magazines. Exactly like that. I have it Thanks. here. This one. All these ones. This ben venta de periódicos, revistas, right? What Nevi mentioned is those. So you can find news and there. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, we got this one. Now, I have an exercise here. In the one we are going to guess. We have uh, six pictures. Let's see on the first picture. You're going to guess what's the place. Picture number one. What's the place? The pharmacy. Very good. It's a pharmacy. Excellent. That's all right. Good one. Elsie, second picture. What's the place? Library? Library? Mm. Library? No. No. Um, we recently mentioned this one. It's a newsstand. It's a newsstand. Uh -huh. Go right, because you can find the newspaper, you can find magazines, right? Clara Judith, what's the second, uh, the third picture, sorry. It's what's the a place? bookstore. It's a bookstore. You can find books. That's all right. Good one. Carlos Arai. What's the place? A restaurant. It's a restaurant. That's good. Yes. What about this one? Ana Xiomara. What's the place? What do you think? Ana Xiomara? What do you think is this place? It's a school. Okay, it's a school. Yeah, probably it's a school. Probably it's a university, right? The school, school of people. Okay, right. What about the next one? Genesis. It's a bank. It's okay, for, probably for... it's a bank. Uh huh. Any other idea? Post office. Ah, okay. Probably it's a post office. That's great. Nice one. Okay. So let's check here. Let's pass to another activity here. We have another objective, which it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. First, we need to check something important about how do you investigate how you can get to a place. Like this, how do I get to Rockefeller Center? Remember that here, how do I get to investigate like, como llego? how do I get to? And you mention the area, the place. Walk up, caminar hacia arriba, right? Go up, ir hacia arriba, just the same case. Fifth Avenue, turn left. What is turn left? 
Turn right on Nice. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. What is right? Derecha. All right, Derecha. that's good. Very good. Now, another type to ask a question, it will be, how can I get to? ¿Cómo puedo llegar? Right? So that's another case, right? How do I get to? ¿Cómo llego? How can I get to? ¿Cómo puedo llegar? It's the same, right? It's the same context that you have. Just that in different structure to formulate the question. So how can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down or go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. Now this one will be the contrary then on the right. Do you have questions with these areas, these positions that you can use? Okay, let's go ahead then to watch the video. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up 5th Avenue or go up 5th Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue and we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be how do I get to New York Public Library? Or how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be 
walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary. Turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. All right, so we have the locations here now and also the different forms that you can use it to locate. For the questions, it was saying that you can use two manners. How do I get to the hospital, for example? Or how can I get to the hospital? For answers, walk up or walk or you also you can be like go up the two forms are correct because you need to walk right or you need to go walk down or go down turn left on turn right on on the right on the left so here we can in include like it's on the right it's on the left do you have question with the vocabulary so far so good so far, so good. Let's go ahead then. We have the map here. And we are going to imagine that you are a tourist at Grand Central Terminal. So we are here, Grand Central Terminal. But you want to investigate this. Excuse me, how do I get to the Empire State Building? Empire State Building, we have it here. And one of the forms, one of the answers will be, walk up. 42nd Street, then turn, so you hear, walk up, 42nd Street, then it says, turn, turn left or turn right? Turn left. Turn left, turn left. that is On correct. So, Avenue. Aha, uh -huh, that's great. Turn left, and then we have it here, right? On 5th Avenue. Then? Turn right or turn left? Turn right. Turn right, correct. So the Empire State Building, it's there. It's on the right. You could see it like this. Now, let's check with another direction that you can give. Let's continue. Let's see, Elmer, you are on Grand Central Terminal. Excuse me, how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Give us your direction. Um, well, turn right. Walk. On Madison Avenue. On Madison Avenue. Okay, that could be walk up or go up, right? Go up. Go up. Uh huh. On Madison Avenue. Then turn left or turn right. Turn left. Turn left, correct. Turn left. And then St. Patrick's Cathedral is on the right. So if you turn and look, then it's on your right. Good one. Okay. Now let's find another one. Let's imagine that you are in New York Public Library, but you want to get to Bryant Park. Maybe you are lost and you didn't see the place. Maybe, how will it be? Excuse me, how can I 
gets to Eso Brian Hart. Eso era conmigo iba a ser. <risa> ok. No, mi hijo, soy sincera, tengo que estudiar más este, este contenido. The directions, ok. Sí, sí, porque All si right. me cuesta darlas en español, se sí, imaginará okay. que... <risa> yeah, they, they are, they are right. Ok, thank you. Yes, eh, Carla estará ahí, help us please. We are in this point, New York Public Library, but you need to get to Brian Park. Um... Poco teacher. What do you think? It's here. Um, no. <laughs> no? Elsie, help us, please. Elsie, how will it be? Oh, on the right? On the right? Or is next to, right? Or on the or right. In the corner. In the corner of Brian Park is in the corner of in the corner of it's a bonita. Sit I have six six avenue. 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 Uh -huh. avenue. That's correct. That will be one position, right? And what about this one? Brian Park is next, next to, to New York Public New, York. New York. Public library. So there are different positions, right? It's not only unique. As we were mentioning, there is no one specific form. It depends how you want to, right? How you want to give it. We need to be like practical. Es como un poco más práctico porque a veces perdemos a la persona, right? <laughs> we give different directions. Go here, go there, walk up, go down. <laughs> That's good. Okay, now let's go ahead with another one. Uh, Clara Judith. Let's imagine that here you are in Rockefeller Center, but you want to get to the Empire State Building. Excuse me. Um, How can I get to the Empire State Building? Okay. So you are here, Rockefeller Center. Is walk up or walk down? Um, yeah, walk. Walk up. Walk down. No, walk right? down. Porque vamos hacia abajo, ¿no? Sí, vamos, hacia redu abajo. vamos reduciendo la cantidad de avenidas, right? Sí. El walk up sería hacia arriba, si vamos incrementando sí. el número de la avenida. Yes? Sí. For that's right. It's like, sí. Rockefeller, you are here on 6th Avenue, right? But here you have 6th Avenue, then you go here, 40, well, 42nd Street, 41. 40, 39, so is go down. Go down or walk down. The two forms it could be. All right. Mm -hmm. How will it be? Help us, help us. Uh, so yeah. Walk down. Okay. Walk down uh, on 6th Avenue. On 6th Avenue. Uh -huh. And uh, so yeah. Uh, Turn, turn left. Turn left, exactly, because you need to turn, turn left. here, right? Turn left. Mm. Uh -huh. The Empire State Building is on the left. Está a la izquierda, right? It's on the left. Okay. Yes, it's that's right. On Good one. Left. Nice. Good one. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Elmer Giovanni. Let's see the next one. Excuse me, how can I get to, let me see, New York Public Library, but you are in St. Patrick's Cathedral, so we are here. Okay. Walk up, but look, New York Public Library, and you are in St. Patrick's, you are here. Ah, here is five and here this is two. Patrick. Uh, so here. New, new public. E exactly. You go to New York Public Library. You are here. This is your point of reference. Okay. Is go down. 
Okay, walk down because you reduce the quantity of the avenue. Uh -huh. Aha. Walk avenue down on Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue toward uh, to right one. Sorry? Right. Don't, don't right. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't right on, on 42nd. For, for 42nd Street. On 42nd Street. Yeah, that's correct. So the reference here also it could be turn right, right? Turn right on 42nd Street. The New York Public Library is Bryant Park. Is next to Bryant Park. Aha, that's good. It's next to Bryant Park. That's correct. So you can give like more specific reference, right? Good. Nevi, are you ready? Okay. Thank you, Elmer. That's good. <laughs> Vamos yes? a ver. You want to try? Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are in Rockefeller Center. Mm -hmm. But you want to get to Bryant Park. Bryant. This okay. is your point of reference. Go uh, down. Okay. Go six down. Avenue. Very good. Go down six. six Avenue. Avenue. Uh-huh. On the left. Toward? Right. On the right? left. Toward left. Because you are here, right? Turn left. You are here. Vamos Turn atrás. left. Aha, that's good. Turn left. Aha. Turn left. Brian Park is? Next you. Next to? You. Next New to? York Public Library. Aha, that's good. It's next to New York Public Library. That's Library. good. Very mm -hmm. good job. Nice one. Okay. Let's continue then, Rodrigo Beltan. Are you there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's imagine that you are in the Empire State Building and you want to get to the Grand Central Terminal. How do I get to that? Well, that well, first I leave the place, obviously. <laughs> Aha. Okay. Um to right to right and walk up walk up and Madison Avenue on Madison Avenue okay walk up on Madison Avenue and to left to left to left it will be here ah uh, to right yes Sorry. excellent that's good to right. to right and I'm here <laughs> and I'm here that's true yeah <laughs> and you are in front of there yeah, right Grand Central Terminals. That's good. Okay. Very good job, guys. Questions about this? We're going to continue practicing. What places do you normally visit? Do you have like these places in your area where you live? For example, a public library? Do you have a, pub a public library in your neighborhood? I haven't. No, you don't have? You don't have a public library? No? No, teacher. Okay, Rebecca Vanessa, what about you? Do you have a, a terminal, a bus terminal? Mm, yes, I have. Yes, you have them. Are they close to your house or mm. far? No, it's far. It's far. You have? Do you have to walk or do you take the bus or you drive the car? I take a bus. You take a bus. Okay. Do you have to walk to the terminal? Mm, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So you have to walk like a, how many blocks? Three blocks, three blocks, four blocks. Two blocks. Two blocks. Okay. Approximately that. So it's not so far, right? Right. Okay. Now tell me, Kathy, Kathy is there. Yes, teacher. Yes. What cathedrals do you know? What cathedrals? Uh, um, cathedral uh, Metropolitan. No, sé, no sé si Ah, the say. Metropolitan. You mean this one, uh, Cathedral de San Salvador? Yes. Yes, that one. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, that one is very big. Do you visit it? Um... 
How often do you visit it? So it's around Centro Histórico, right? I me cuesta hablar en inglés. <laughs> Try to do it. You can do it. Do you um, usually visit the cathedral? Do you usually visit it? And I no no mucho, o sea, no, no much. mucho. Uh, okay. No much. So you you yeah. seldom visit it. You seldom visit the cathedral. All right, good one. Thanks. What about you, Edward? Edward, do you have parks in your neighborhood? Uh, I I live near the historic center. Ah, really? Yes, about uh, about about uh, five or six or six blocks. Aha, uh -huh, from your house, so it's very short distance there. Yes. Yeah, it's not complicated to get. Also that they are renovating, right? All that place. It must look I... very nice. Mm. See. Yeah, it looks nice. Very nice to visit it. All right, guys. Any question about this? It's all right, teacher. It's all right? I got it. You got it? Okay. Miss, Tell me. Podría enviarnos ejercicios al grupo de esta clase. Sure. Yes, I will. I will send you videos. Sí. Yes, we need to practice more. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Para practicarlo más, por favor. Yes, it's okay. Don't worry. Thank I will you, send miss. you videos and exercises, of course. Thank you, guys. Have a beautiful thank you, night. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you miss. Have a Catch good night. Bye. See you bye, bye. Take care. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Sweet dreams. Bye. Goodbye. Take care.